and voila. Yeah, just got to take it down off the jack. Yeah, all back together now. Um, headlights aren't perfectly lined up. Yeah, they could have done with bring, coming out a couple of mil more, but um, hey, not right on, right on my boat. Main thing is, they're solid. So um, when I take it from MOT, he'll, uh, he'll do the adjustment on it, like which is basically just putting an Allen key in there, and yeah, that that'll adjust for the uh, dip yeah, to get it lined up. Uh, so great stuff. They need they do need another clean. I'm thinking of using the uh, the machine buffer uh, just to clean them up again. Uh, as I say, they're a lot better than what they were. I can't believe people are wanting thirty five quid a headlight. Um, absolutely shocking. Uh, in worse estate than mine ridiculous anyway as I say I saved that dollar by a bit of perseverance there so I'm well happy with that no more coolant leak um, yeah new radiator fitted so that is not that you can see it happy days gets up the temperature tyres are done so all I'm waiting on now really is the EGR valve, which I've just got that old one temporarily put back on so I could move the car without the exhaust blowing out the side of it. Uh, so get the EGR valve done. I've got the rear hub to put on once that arrives, which I think that's coming tomorrow as well as the EGR. Uh, then that'll get the rest of the lights off. Then I'm pretty sure I'm ready for MOT. Let's have a quick check on my board. Um, so I've got frontless left... Start again. Front left brake shield, uh, brake disc shield. I've got that down here to fit. Uh, just the brake shield. Purely, I got that because um, there is a little bit of pitting on the back of the uh, hub, and when I put that uh, that on, it'll sort of hide it. it, it it's masking a problem. That's not really a problem because it, it'll sort of sell out after a, a bit of uh, movement and braking. So I'm not too fussed about that. Air filter, that's neither here nor there. I've changed the oil in it and the oil filter, give it an engine flush. So it's uh, topped up, that's all spot on. Air filter's a quick replacement. EGR valve, as I've just mentioned. Rewrite hub, as I've just mentioned. That'll allow us to take all the lights off. Fuel filter, that's already came. Yeah, that's seconds to fit that. And spark plugs, which will just complete a full service for it. Um, then that's it, it's ready for MOT, once it passes MOT then it'll be uh, doing the clean. Um, again, I'm not going to machine polish it or anything, it's just going to get a wash. Uh, the seats aren't too bad so I'll probably not bother getting my carpet cleaner out for that. Uh, just wipe the dash down, clean the windows, little bit of titivation uh, and that's it, get her up for sale. Um, happy days. Right, that's it guys. Dilly dilly. Hi guys, happy Friday. Oh, I'm looking forward to a uh, hello darkness later on. Um, anyway, I've been taking this hub off. Yeah, uh, finally got it off. Uh, the spline socket never came. If I just show you what the, uh, uh, the spline socket. So that's the biggest one I had. Um, which does not fit in uh, the actual uh, socket itself which he, he's the new one uh, you'll be able to see there that it you know it doesn't fit it's too, too slack so obviously when I try to take the old one out of there it just stripped it um, now uh, the, old, the, the one that I need the M18 mil it was meant to arrive yesterday it didn't it hasn't arrived today uh, and clearly it's the weekend I want to get this job done so what I what I have done uh, is basically using me uh, cutter if I just get the old hub here um, I've had to cut away if you look at the new one you can see how you've got the uh, the exposed bit there which is what the actual um, wheel sits over or the brake disc and then the wheel um, so what I've had to do is cut that off right at the thick point there which give me access uh, to the bolt uh, which is obviously in there um, 
that allowed me to hammer on which is why i can't show you the old one because it's still wedged in there hammer on uh, a socket which then gripped the outer portion uh, of this uh, and then i managed to get it off but it was still absolutely solid tight uh, you can see the length uh, of the um you know the socket bar power bar i've got there a uh, big old meaty bit of kit and with that much leverage it was still a chew to wind it off so to that end i think even with the correct socket in there trying to get that old one off would have been a nightmare uh, so anyway it's off that's what i've had to do now the 18 mil isn't a waste because i do need to talk tighten this up um, and obviously having the correct size socket is going to stop the splines getting broken uh, so it is still a requirement but it is going to allow me i'll get this tight enough to take it for a test drive and take the lights off yeah but then i'll get a torque tightened up once i actually receive the spline socket so that's it i can now crack on and put the new hub on which will push onto there now the, as we know the reason i've needed the new hub is that's the abs ring on the back you can actually see all the marks all the way around it yeah and that's what the sensor here what i had to replace um where's it i'm pointing to somewhere where it's not yeah the sensor here that's what picks up these little uh, ridges on here and that's basically how the system knows if your wheel's locked up um because it won't register this moving uh, so that's how the anti lock operating system works with them sensors if your wheel locks up yeah um the abs sensor will actually uh, kick in identify that and stop this locking up it'll then apply the brakes on and off yeah through the abs pump so even though you're pressing down fully on the brake if it detects that isn't moving it'll then fluctuate which is basically putting the brake on and off quickly so it just releases the brake puts it on release it puts it on because clearly if, if it didn't have abs and it, it locked then all you're doing is just going to slide so it's just cadence breaking as it's called uh poor man's abs if you didn't have abs you used to put the brakes on and off with your foot but this does it automatically anyway i'm sure you most of knew that but for those that didn't there's a bit of a uh, info for you so this uh, the old abs ring was was broken totally all gone off so there was nothing for the sensor to actually register on here which was why it was coming up with a mechanical fault because it couldn't pick up uh, any reading off the abs ring hence you've got to put the new one on now you can buy the abs ring separate knock them off and put them back on the hub um which is fine but the bearings were on the way out on this hub as well the other one has been replaced uh, so for what it costs 15 quid for a new hub plus abs ring the abs ring seven quid and then the two i've had getting that out i would i would have had to have bought a new bolt um so as i say for all you can change the abs ring you're better off just replacing the whole hub yeah uh, therefore you get a new bolt with it your bearings are uh, brand new and you won't have any problems with it going forward so i'll get this put back on uh, get the wheel put on and then next video will be taking it for a test drive to hopefully uh, complete this uh, sequence test sequence yeah uh, which will do the calibration and take all the lights off dilly dilly hey right, guys i'm here uh, all started up They're ready for function test uh, vcds on showing that function test is activated so i've just got to go for a drive now anywhere over sort of 15 mile an hour uh, do some left and right turns and hopefully these lights will go off dilly dilly well guys the moment of truth i have been for said test drive ignition on start up all lights off that exclamation mark is just the parking brake light which is on which i take the parking brake off and that is it happy days so that is booked in now for mot on thursday at three o'clock uh, should be a pass hopefully um so if we just uh, confirm in abs now that we have no faults there we go no fault code found okay so i'm just going to do a uh, a full diagnostic check of the whole car again now 
just make sure there's no um, existing fault codes. Dilly dilly.